What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. I'm still excited. This is actually still the same day as last video, but I didn't want to compile everything into one long video, so this is the next episode. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, since the last video, I got all my stuff. I got like 90% of my stuff moved into the new shop. Um, all the important stuff is here, so I'm ready to, everything's in here. I'm just ready to start unpacking everything. I got a few new items in the new shop um, because my last shop was kind of, my space was like a, like a paint booth. I had to get another one. So it's like an inflatable paint booth. So if you're watching this video because of this paint booth, uh, for sure, for sure, you'll get some nice content on that. Um, but hey, hit the subscribe button, man. I do a lot of crazy stuff on my channel. Um, I'll be using this paint booth. Um, so you'll, you'll get some footage of that if that's what you're here for. Um, I do a lot of stuff, man, so stay tuned. This thing is, it's huge, bro. It kind of fits, but not really. I mean, it literally goes wall to wall. That's insane. I didn't know it was gonna be that big. I knew how big this was, but I didn't really take measurements of the actual shop before I moved in. Um, they do make smaller ones, but, um, Jeez, man, this thing is huge. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Okay, so the booth that I have, uh, you can actually find it on eBay. Um, I did check a few different sources. Um, it seemed like the people manufacturing these booths were all from China. So it was like, I might as well go with eBay. Um, it was the easiest process. So this particular booth, is made out of, um, I forget the material. There's two different booths that they make the material, or two different materials that they make these booths out of. And one makes it uh, way more expensive. Um, have you ever seen like those jump castles? The jump castles are made out of like that almost like rubber, I don't know what the material is, but it's like a lot thicker. Those are the booths that cost like 10,000, 15,000. If you're paying 15,000 for a blow up booth, you might as well buy a real booth. I'll be honest with you. Um, this one here uh, is the 39 feet long by 16 feet wide and 13 feet high. Um, this one costs roughly about $1,700, this one in particular. Um, then of course you're gonna need two to three blowers. And the only reason I say that, I'll explain why you may need two to three blowers. If you get this one, this one actually comes with two ports to blow it up. I'm assuming one, they give you two ports, you can blow it up faster. And then one port, is actually the uh, actual uh, fresh air fresh air filter. Um, basically, that one is gonna pump all the clean air and actually give you your ventilation. Uh, so, like I said, you may or may not need three. Um, I only have two. By the time you spend the money on the blowers and the booth itself, you're gonna be looking at about roughly two thousand. Um, depending on how you're gonna use this booth, I'm using it for my business, so it was more than worth it. If you're only gonna do one car, like you're doing something at home, you have to make that decision if you're gonna use it again. Cause if it's gonna be a one-time deal, I don't know if it's the best investment for you. But with that being said, 
This thing is massive, bro. I mean, it's massive. I mean, when you think 40 feet, you're like, oh, okay, 40 feet. No, like this thing is huge, bro. My shop is only 1,200 square feet. Um, it's about 40 feet long by 30 feet wide. So lengthwise, it takes up the entire shop on this side. Um, now with me, because I use this booth as a business, I'm going to set it up a little bit differently than maybe you would um, in your scenario because I'm using it inside. Um, a lot of times when I do cars, they have to sit overnight. You'll see that the booth is actually up right now, but it's actually not blown up. So, and the main thing was uh, the garage rails up here are only 10 and a half feet, but this thing blows up to 13 and a half feet. And I was scared it was gonna puncture a hole. So you don't actually get to see the full inflation, but there's tons of those type of videos on YouTube. And when I looked it up and was doing research on these, for me, it was more or less about how do you actually, how does it look when you actually use it on a full car, like in, you know, in the process, um, things like that. So I'm gonna show you how I built mine for long-term use. So, like I said, because in, in in my particular line of business, sometimes my cars have to sit overnight while they dry. And because of this, number one, I can't have the blowers on the entire time. That would that would drain a lot of energy and a lot of risk. You don't want to leave something that's running unattended. Um, that's the main thing. So, the idea I came up with is I got this two-inch in diameter thick PVC piping. And to make a long story short, I basically built a 30, 30 by 12 um, skeleton for the inside. So when you're looking down, you actually see um, the PVC is actually ran uh, throughout the entire booth. Um, like I said, this is 30 feet long by 12 feet wide. And basically what this allows me to do is it's off right now. It's not inflated. Um, so for me, I'm not going to, because I have a skeleton holding it up, I'm only going to need to use the filtration uh, vent and not the vent that actually blows it up. So as you can see, I have this, the full skeleton holding up the actual booth right now. So in my partic particular application and using this booth, I don't really need to use the blow up part of it because it's pretty much self-sustaining right now as far as it being held up because of the PVC frame that I built. Um, that being said, I'll, I'll actually only be using the filtration uh, vent, which will be pressurizing the booth and filtering out the, the overspray and the fumes while I'm painting. Of course, I'll be having my safety mask on, my, uh, my respirator mask. But um, yeah, man, uh, you're probably looking at, like I said, about 2000 for the booth and the blowers. Um, the materials that I used to actually build the skeleton, I got all that from Lowe's. All I used was two inch PVC piping. Um, I did have to special order a few of the connectors. Lowe's didn't really have um, all the connectors I need. You need these special four port T um, to make your brace across the middle. So this, this corner here has a four port T, which is a T with an extra, I'll show you what it looks like. It's basically a T uh, with an extra port coming out going this way to make the support you want across to the center those I had the special order I think a few of these I had a special order but you're probably looking at roughly I think I used about 35 to 36 um, they come in 10 foot uh, 10 foot increments I think I used 35 um, 10 foot two inch uh, PVC piping and then the couplers, depending on your application, I don't know how many you're gonna need. Um, but um, all said and done, uh, probably roughly about, we'll say with the booth and the PVC piping, if you do decide to go, with that, go that route, you're probably looking at like 2,500. So 2,500 is, is a lot of money but it's better than spending 11,000 or 15,000 on like a booth booth if you can't afford it at that time. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I definitely have more content on the booth and the shop and, and all that, but uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and uh, you see that right there? Yeah, go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up a
I'm approaching. Mm.